Hello, welcome back. I have a vlog and if you're new here, please send help because I live in Ontario and we are still in lockdown if you haven't heard. So the only things that I can do is go to Starbucks and then go to shoppers and then go back to Starbucks and then go to shoppers because I can't even go spend money on things that I don't need because this is what Walmart looks like. So the vlogs are getting a little bit repetitive maybe. I'm trying really hard with the content to try different things around the house and do different things because there's only so many things that I can do at home. But I'm trying you guys. So I do have another vlog for you guys where you know I took myself on a little date. We do a ton of Depop in this vlog. I also had a radio interview and then I shared with you guys what I got my mom for Mother's Day. Something different, something new. And of course I needed to have some sort of fun fashion thrifty content in this vlog to get some of y'all attention. So I have a try on thrift haul from ThreadUp. So without further ado, let's get into to it. I don't know how much you guys can see of my outfit and the sun's going down so I might play the TikTok that I did but outfit it is literally 7 o'clock at night and all I did was film a TikTok and post a video it is Sunday I think but here's the outfit I feel like a brat stall I have a newfound love for vlogging. Super obsessed with vlogging and editing my vlogs right now. So we kind of love that for me because I was like super not creative for a while. So I'm so excited to be vlogging again, putting looks together. I'm getting more creative, I'm so excited. Maybe this third wave of quarantine is gonna fix me up a little bit with my creativity that I've been lacking. Super excited. It's the sunset for me. Get into this week's. Wait, I want to. <laughs> this week's vlog. Wish I could say I was finally over you, but that's not the truth. Mm -mm. Everyone always keep falling in love again. Look at this shirt. I definitely mentioned this a few times throughout the video, but my Depop is Melissa 8 and I just dropped a bunch of things if you want to check it out. But if you guys are not on Depop or you want to shop in Canadian or you just want to know when I do drop new items, definitely go follow Shop Threads Obsessed. And if you're interested in anything, definitely just send me a quick DM on there and we can talk about it. But yeah, go give me a quick little follow on there. Okay, love you guys. Back to the video.
if you want to We can watch some TV, watch some Netflix if you want You, you can come on over if you want to We can do whatever, do whatever we want to Baby, I've been missing you like crazy lately But I don't think you feel the same thing, baby Good afternoon. It's currently three o'clock. I did have a very busy morning and now I'm just eating some lunch. Mm -mm -mm -mm. Plan my week out. So I thought that that would be a fun thing for, for you guys to see. That is basically my way that I plan out my weeks. Usually I do it on Sunday, but usually it does change and I usually try to do more than what it says. And obviously I take Instagram pictures and stuff. It depends on the sunlight and stuff. So that is also something that I have to take in consideration. I'm gonna eat this in a second, but I got, I got a package. So before I start to clean upstairs, cause I gotta start to do film the rest of that video to show you guys what I got. I'm so excited about this. I ordered off of Depop. So cute. I'll put the Depop shop that I got it from on the screen. So cute. Um, ah! stickers. I love, oh my God, I love stickers. Got some really cute stickers. So the app is Shop Sids. Super cute. I got some fun things, some cute stickers, and I'm so excited about this. Look at this dress. It's this Ed Hardy, like, beach cover-up dress situation. <gasps> I'm obsessed with it. I cannot wait to style this. <gasps> it's so freaking good. I need some, like, killer black boots to wear with this fit of my dreams. I'm just getting ready to take an Instagram photo. My cute outfit, cause there's nowhere to go. So all I can do, this is literally what I do for like my, what am I doing? This is literally what I do for my fun time. I'm like, I need to go take an Insta pic. That's my daily outing. That's my serotonin boot. I literally have just been doing Depop for so many days and I have been staring at the computer editing my Depop photos and squaring them and putting them into Depop for so long that I'm literally losing my mind and I need to do something else creative. So I thought tonight let's do like a little thrift flip situation because I have some things that I've been wanting to do. Friday night, what else is there to do on a Friday night other than do some thrift flips in COVID? If it wasn't COVID, I would be going to the club like that. Actually, probably not to be honest. Though. So we're gonna go take this Insta pic and I have been doing Depop for three days in a row and now it's Friday. I literally have just been doing pictures pictures and then editing and then pictures and then editing and pictures and editing and pictures and editing and now I'm dropping everything today. I'll definitely check out my Depop because I probably just dropped a ton of stuff. I'll pop it up but yeah that's pretty much what I've been doing. So let's continue getting ready and then we're gonna go. Yeah, she talking to Jester. Baby girl, she Let's me. go put our nails on. And then take our pick. She's ready. I think I'm gonna do these blue colored ones just to you know go with the funky outfit that's happening. Okay, nails did. These were like really expensive. They were like $16.99 for the whole entire thing, but I do get two sets out of them, so I'm not that mad. So I'll probably order some off Amazon next time I do this, because this is a little bit pricey. Literally was like, did I lose both my lashes off my eyes at this moment? But nope, just my ratchet self. It's okay. For reals, look like Snooki right now with the Uggs and the Ed Hardy and the earrings and the hair. Um, 
Very 2007. Very, very Jersey Shore. I'm gonna change out of these, but I can't drive. I can't even drive like normally. So, um, and my boots that I was, that I'm driving in, I mean, that I'm gonna take the pictures in, are massive. So, yeah, your girl can't even drive like normally. So, we're not gonna like put any extra issues on me while I'm driving. Okay, I think I found my spot. I'm gonna do it against this like bluish wall. That will look cool. I think so. I just go to like random <laughs> industrial parts like late at like after sunset so nobody's really here usually or like during sunset like after work hours and I take all my pictures here a little bit dangerous if you, I don't know I don't recommend to go alone but I do go alone I think I can kick some ass so I'm fine but yeah I'm gonna <laughs> I'm going to take photos here yay I think I got some. There's people over there, but my car hid me. So I don't even think they could have seen me. I hope not. I mean, maybe. Oh well. <laughs> okay. Okay, pics are done. Maybe a little thumbnail action. The sun is setting, it's gorgeous. It's a beautiful night. The only time I get alone right now. <laughs> I love it. I love creating. Okay, let's go get Starbucks or something. I'm hungry. The way I'm about to watch the sunset. I'm gonna watch the sunset, eat my McDonald's, and have a little date to myself. Date night. Melissa, thanks for joining the show today. Hi, thank you. I'm here to show you guys some things. I have some things that I got for my mommy, my mommy, <laughs> for Mother's Day. So I thought I would show you guys a little bit of a haul of the things that I got for her. I kind of spoiled her a little bit. So I'm gonna wrap it with you guys. I have a couple rolls of wrapping paper. I need some sizzo, tape and sizzo, tape and sizzo. Okay, the thing that I got her is this smeg toaster the poke this is gonna go so far I guess I'm not using this stir it looks really like retro cool and I think it might just like add a little spice to her to her kitchen maybe I like it more than she will I'm not sure I went for this like blue color cuz I was like you know I could get the black or the white or I don't know I didn't really like the red or the pink but you know this one it was like a Tiffany blue which I wasn't that into but this is like a nice like light colored blue and I was like you know what yeah let's just do that I am not good at wrapping things okay this is enough you guys will be really really proud of me for oh look at the card that I got her it's really cute it says wonder it's like wonder woman to a true wonder woman the other ones but I'm not a cheesy person like I don't like the cheesy stuff so I didn't want to get like one of those like sappy cards like face stuff some hair stuff so I got her this Lee sweater or whatever it's age control it's like a set of like cream you know one of those sets but I also got from Sephora for her I got the ordinary hair care which this is my holy grail I love it to like grow hair so I got her that I also got her two new shampoos which they are biotin and collagen thick and full so these might be good for her because she's 
old. <laughs> Sorry. And then I got her Shea Moisture, also a holy grail company for me, hair mask because she wanted some hair stuff. I got her a hand cream set because she loves creams. And then I got like a bunch of like sustainable things. So these are like sustainable sponges to clean your dishes with. This is a reusable beeswax food wraps. They had a bunch of these. These are three medium strips. And then I saw these really cool things on Amazon, which are like covers cover rubbers, cover blubbers. So they're super stretchy and they're food savers because you can just like, you wrap them around something instead of plastic. Good for the environment and honestly, a little bit more ideal. So that is what I got her for Mother's Day. Yeah, that could be cute. I actually worked at a gift wrapping company right before my YouTube channel started to do well. <laughs> so I do know how to wrap this type. It was a gift basket company, so I wasn't like wrapping necessarily like with paper, so that's why I'm not very good at it, but we did use these ribbons a lot for this type of stuff, so that's why I'm kind of a little bit better at wrapping with ribbons. Okay, there's number one done. And then this one, which is cute. And then we love her. This is the nice paper. It's probably from last Mother's Day or her birthday or something, to be honest. And then I'm gonna put like stickers all over this one, I think. Our Mother's Day gifts complete. I gotta fill out the card and we're good to go. Let me know what you guys did or if you did anything for Mother's Day, if you have a mom. You are a mom. What'd you get? Who got you? What did you get for your mom? Let me know in the comments down below, but fun. I love gift giving. That's literally my love language. I love gift giving. I... What? I love you. Oh, I see how you. He hates being picked up. Compared to this one, always wants to see my arms. Louis <laughs> hates it, Louis. Unless he's like literally in my arms, he does not want to be moved off his fours. This one is like, I want to be up here. Louis used to be like that. It's not, I'm not playing just because I'm on the ground. No. Ow, my toe. No. Hey. No. We're still training. <laughs> Could not tell. Okay, I think that. The angle is good, good two shoes. I think we're, we're, we can, we're, we're good right now. Okay, I have a haul. I have a thrift haul. If it's a little bit um, echoey, it's because there's no furniture in this room right now. We just got no hardwood, so, and the lighting is just so good. I have to, I'm gonna be using this room a little bit more. But I'm gonna share with you guys some of the things that I picked up. I got, um, I have a huge haul, a huge thrift haul from ThreadUp that I'm going to share with you guys. So first I'm going to start with some stuff that I got from ASOS. SOS, ASOS, ASOS. I got a few pairs of shoes, just two pairs of shoes. I got these. Griffey's helping. Thanks, baby. I got these, which are so fun. I think that they're so cute. So yeah, these are the first pair. And then I literally... I was like kind of like debating between the well, show you. I got these also in white, which I've been wearing a lot. I already scuffed them somehow because I've been wearing them so much. I've been taking Depop pictures with them. I just really had needed some new shoes. Like I don't have any good shoes and like I love thrifting shoes, but sometimes you just, well, first of all, we're in lockdown. So that's probably why I got them, but I just thought that they were really cute and I love these chains on them and stuff. And yeah, so that is what I've got first. I also got a couple accessories, which were, I was just like, you know, why not? But I kind of wanted a couple things anyway, so it's like, so cute. I got this mushroom necklace. I am obsessed with it. I'm obsessed with mushrooms right now for some reason. I don't know what it is, but I'm really obsessed with mushrooms. So I got this, this is so cute. Maybe I'll put it on. And then I got the matching earrings as well. 
which I don't know if I'll wear like the whole set together. It might be a little bit much, a little bit tacky, but it's still like cute. So I would probably wear them like separately. So, so I got these like little mushroom hoop earrings as well, which I thought were like so cute. So yeah, they match the necklace. On trend, these big sunnies, like 70 sunglasses are. So I needed to get another pair. I have a couple, but I really like the blue frames of these ones. So I got these as well. And that's all I got from ASOS. So um, yeah, I got a huge order from Thread Up, literally. Yeah, so I'm gonna share them with you guys and you know what, I just, you know, I'm sorry if he's distracting you because he is distracting me. But the first thing that I got is this really gorgeous dress. It's so cute. This is so early 2000s, I feel. It, it is going to be a try on haul as well, so that's fun. I'm gonna go pretty quickly though. Look at how amazing this bag is. This is so cute. What is the brand of this if there is one? Different things, I've thrifted a couple sweaters. I think I have actually thrifted a bag before as well. Honey. I'm gonna just put them outside for now. I'm gonna eat some plastic or something. I don't love that. A couple different, the same bag, the same pattern, same material, and a bunch of different things I've thrifted before. So I thought I would just pick this up. By the way, some of this stuff might be on Depop. I really just like bought so much, thi so many things that I didn't, I didn't even really look at sizing and stuff. But um, this is gonna be, I think, a little bit big on me. I got this really cute bathing suit top which I love this pattern, such a big trend for the summertime. It's gonna be like this um, Hawaiian print. So I got this with these bottoms as well. Oh, and then I got these, which I think I'm gonna keep for myself because they fit me really, really nicely. I've tried a couple things on so far, but I haven't done it all. So I know some of the stuff I'm definitely keeping, which these pants are so cute. I love the lettuce hem at the bottom. So cute with the little flare. I'm also keeping this. I am here for the terry cloth trend. And it's very Y2K, early 2000s. It's actually polo. So I was like, I actually didn't even know it was polo until it came. And I was like, okay, I'm definitely, definitely keeping this now. And then I got this really cute early 2000s top as well. Um, super cute. I love her. I got these bathing suit bottoms, which were really fun. They're like red bottoms. These are too small on me, so these will be up in my Depop. But they have like the coolest little, like it goes up on your belly. I don't know, I thought it was really cool. I am obsessed with... Anything paisley print, and these were just like so cute. So I had to get them, and I love this brown color. Super cute, so I'm definitely keeping those. Princess Polly-esque, but I thought it was really cute, so I picked it up. I feel like it's just like a cute little top. I think I have something similar in my wardrobe, honestly. It's a Nike dress, which I love this like orange. There's a lot of orange in this haul, because orange definitely the color of the season. So I picked this up, it's really cute. I'll show the try on, it's actually really cute. This, this bathing suit is so cute. It is like lemons and flowers. It's like definitely from the 80s or the 90s. It's so cute with the high-waisted bottoms as well. Oh, this bathing suit also, brand new with tags, so cute. Would be so cute for like a festival or something. By Emma Jordan, I don't even know what that is. But so cute. I love the big belt buckle on it with the stripes and everything. Then I just picked up this DKNY active burnt orange colored tank top would be cute to crop. Knee skirt, which definitely is not going to fit my butt. So this is definitely gonna go up on Depop. This is really cute too. This I was hoping would fit me and I don't think it's going to fit me. I think it's a little bit big, but it's this really cute skirt by True Religion. And it is the cutest little denim mini skirt. Look at it. Look at it! Oh! I'm obsessed. I wish it would fit. Actually, I have to try it on still. It just looks big. This I think I'm also gonna keep. This is like a bathing suit top, but I think I'm gonna wear it as like an actual top itself, which is just really cute. So, yeah, I don't know. I just love it so much. I love this pattern. It's so freaking cute. So yeah, I got that. So, got this, which is really cute. It's like this speed. Sp I was gonna say speedo. It's sporty, sporty, sporty. Little tie dye, funky, groovy one piece with the open back, which is really cute. A lot of orange is coming. I'm just warning you. This Nike tank top, which will be cute to crop. It's orange again. And then this top, which is cute. It's just like orange florals. I'm not too sure about this one. I don't know how I'm gonna style it. This, which looks so. so so small. 
but it actually does go on me and it's a cute little bathing suit cover up. Um, can you guys see how small this is? I was like, uh, okay. Then I got this Ralph Lauren um, long sleeve top. I think I'm gonna put this up on my Depop, but it's really cute, just like a casual top. So I got this as well. And then I got this one, which is super, super cute. I love this. It's just wear with some jeans or something. I love, again, the Paisley print. I'm so here for it. So yeah, this is Express. And then I got this Ralph Lauren, like, cable knit sweater, which is really, really cute as well. And this one right here, which is Who, What, Where, which it sounds familiar, but I'm not sure. But it's the cutest orange dress ever. Like, how cute is this dress? I might have to keep this. I need to try this one on. I haven't tried this one on yet. So cute. Okay, this sweater vest by Ralph Lauren is so good as well. Look at this. It's so freaking cute. What else did we get? Oh, this Nike skirt too. Look at this Nike skirt. Skirt? Nike skirt with this pattern all over it. I'm obsessed with this. This is so freaking fire. And then I got two. I didn't know I ordered two of them. So obviously I'm gonna put one up on my Depop um, because I don't really need two of the exact same thing. But this one's Juicy. This is Juicy Couture. It's a little bit darker of an orange and it's so cute. It's like this velour zip down hooded top. And then, wait, no, that was not the Juicy one. This just says J on it. Maybe it is Juicy. There's no tag in it though. Oh, it is. Oh, there's a tag that says closet. I don't know. It just has a J. So maybe it's like trying to be Juicy because it has the exact same is this and it this one's juicy couture actually has the tag and it's a little bit of a lighter orange which is really cute so there's that and the last two items we have these which are really cute i think i'm gonna keep these these are like these soap or whatever just like sweatshorts and then this skirt is so fire look at it it's this blue really cute kind of reminds me of like the sax pots sparkly shimmery pants but in a skirt I love this material so much. I'm so excited to style. Ooh, that's a vibe. I'm gonna have to do that. That's really cute. So yeah, that is my little thread up haul. I hope you guys enjoyed this haul and this vlog. I don't know. Are you guys enjoying the way that I'm doing these vlogs with a little bit more stuff in them? A little more shajam in them? I don't know, let me know. But I hope you guys like this haul. I don't know what we're gonna do today, but I'm gonna drink the rest of my coffee. It's kind of a crappy day out. 